Welcome to Research News from the American Association of Bariatric Counselors. Today, we are reporting on a really novel and recently approved bariatric surgery procedure. Unlike surgeries such as gastric bypass, sleeve gastrectomy, or banding, this laparoscopic procedure targets some of the messengers between the gut and the brain via the vagus nerve. It is called V-block. Vagal blocking therapy was developed by Enteromedics. The procedure consists of a neuroregulator device that is implanted into the chest wall with flexible leads placed around the vagus nerve. According to the manufacturer, when the device is activated, it sends intermittent electrical pulses along the vagus nerve that reduces hunger and increases feelings of fullness. The surgery takes about 60 to 90 minutes and does not have many of the usual side effects associated with existing bariatric surgeries. It is completely reversible and can be non-invasively adjusted or turned off when necessary, such as with pregnancy. The FDA's approval was based on a 12-month clinical trial of only 233 patients, and 76 served as controls who had the procedure, but the device was not activated. Also, all subjects participated in a very comprehensive weight management program that included diet, exercise, and behavior modification. After 12 months, on the average, the group with the active device lost between 20 and 25 percent of their excess weight. However, the control group had lost only 8.5 percent less weight and both groups began gaining weight after nine months. These statistics are only means or averages and people are not statistics, but very unique individuals. In fact, the study was conducted in 10 research sites and in 20% of these sites, the control group without the activated device lost more weight. We do know that the most reported side effects of the procedures were heartburn, problems swallowing, belching, mild nausea, and chest pain. What we still don't know is what will be long-term mind and body side effects of vagus nerve electrical stimulation. As a condition of the approval, the FDA is requiring the company to conduct a five-year study to collect additional data, including weight loss, adverse effects, surgical reversals, and revisions and changes in obesity-related conditions. We applaud Enteromedics and their pioneering invention that targets some of the chemical messengers that both start and stop a meal. This is a shining example of an emerging bariatric science that offers much hope for obesity treatment, but we suggest proceeding with caution until more experiential data is collected. For those of you that would like more detailed information, we have included a V-Block video produced by the developer and the complete FDA summary. For AABC News, I'm Dr. Brandon Davis.